Hey everyone, it's your boy Jigger, and I want to welcome you back to another episode of Journeys with Jay. In today's episode, we are actually going to do something that I always wanted to do, which is to explore an Amazon Go store. Let's go! Amazon Go is a chain of convenience stores in the United States and United Kingdom operated by Amazon. At the time of this recording, there are 42 stores in total. The first store opening in 2016 on Amazon's company compound. The first store open to the public in 2018. According to Wikipedia, Amazon Go stores are located across the US in Seattle, Washington, Chicago, Illinois, San Francisco, California, and New York City, New York. Amazon Go stores are cashless and cashierless. The concept being pick up what you want and just walk out. There is no need to join a checkout line, whether with a cashier or self checkout. Everything is automated using sensors and cameras. In the UK, the Amazon Go stores are marketed under Amazon Fresh, which is also the name of some Amazon Go stores in the US. It's confusing, actually. At the time of this recording, there are 16 Amazon Fresh stores in the greater London area. To use the Amazon Go app and to shop at the Amazon Go or Amazon Fresh stores is pretty simple once you have an Amazon account. So here I'm going to go through the process with you. Before you go into the store, you log into your Amazon account and allow automated building. You then go to the Amazon Go section and generate your personal Amazon Go QR code. And you'll need that QR code to scan to gain entry into the store. Once you're at the store, you scan that QR code at the automated gates. They will open up and allow you in. Don't worry, there's always a staff member at the gate or at the door to give you any assistance that you may need because you can't get in the store without scanning that QR code. This step is the easiest and the most fun part. You shop like normal. Pick up the items you want to purchase. So you can pick up the item, look at the price, look at the ingredients. If you don't want it, put it back. And when you're finished, put everything in your bag and simply walk out. No line, no checkout, no cashier, no credit card, having to hand over your credit card, pull out cash, go into your wallet, none of that. Just simply take up the item that you want. If you finalize that you do want this item, put it in your bag. When you finish shopping, simply walk out. A couple minutes after you have completed shopping in store, your receipt will be emailed to you from Amazon. And the receipt will tell you how long you spent in the store, shopping in the store, the items that you have purchased, the price of the items, the amount of tax that you paid, etc. And then the total at the bottom. You can also dispute any item. So let's say you picked up an item and you put it back, but it still came out on your receipt. You can dispute that item and they will do a check. Remember, everything is done by sensors and cameras, so they'll know. And that total amount, if you leave it, will be deducted from your credit card. And it's simple as that. You almost forget that you actually went to the store except that you see that amount coming out of your credit card. All right. So there's no paper that you have to deal with or anything. So it's also environmentally friendly as well. So I'm about to go in this Amazon store. Let's see what the experience is like.
so um, this is what I put in my bag and you'll see Hey viewers, have you ever been to an Amazon Fresh or Amazon Go store? If you have, leave a comment and let me know what your experience was. Or, would you want to go if you've never been? Would you just want to do it for the experience or do you think that this is the way of the future? Let me know down in the comment section below. Thanks. So now you've seen my experience with the Amazon Fresh store in the UK. So here are my thoughts in closing. The store is definitely futuristic. It felt really cool just scanning a QR code, walking in the store like I didn't really have to interact with anybody if I wanted to. There were staff members there, but I could just go in and take my time, look for what I wanted. And when I was ready, just simply walk out. I thought for the UK that this was incredibly interesting at the time at which they started it because of COVID, when COVID, that COVID wave really struck the UK, they really went to almost cashless society. So everything you can pay for either via apps or by credit card. So even if you don't get UK pounds, like when I went, I hardly got UK pounds. I think I probably got like 10 pounds and I ended up not spending it because everything you can charge either via an app or via your credit card. The only thing that sucks really is that Google Pay Store does not work on our um, on our credit cards. So we, I wasn't able to add the credit cards to my Google Wallet. But that's another vlog for another time. Hey fam, so quick question. Do you think that we are ready in Barbados to reduce our dependence on cash? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. The other thing is that this store is pretty small. And um, so you don't have that wide range that you would get in a normal store, but it is really a convenient store and not a superstore or a supermarket. So don't think of it in that frame of mind. The prices are average. Um, I wouldn't say it's any more expensive than a normal superstore or a normal supermarket. Um, the prices were Amazon average. They weren't, you know, much different than I expected. And because the store is so small, obviously the selections are going to be small as well. But I was happy to see that they had an ethnic food aisle, if I want to call it that, or a section. So there were some Caribbean foods and some Asian foods and so on that you could get. But of course, as I said, the selection is going to be pretty limited. Amazon Fresh store was placed in, a, in an area that's very modern, very hip. So lots of young people live in this area. The rent is pretty high as well. So, you know, we're looking at an affluent neighborhood. Um, and as I mentioned, where there are lots of young people. So there are lots of campuses and so on nearby. Are people going to university and college nearby? Um, the older side of where I was staying, um, you know, obviously the store wasn't there, you know, that catered to more older persons that prefer to, you know, actually physically go into a store or the supermarket. Um, I would say superstores also have better prices um, because they're able to order in bulk. So I didn't really see that savings that I might have expected because it's Amazon. But yeah, it wasn't bad. Like I said, it wasn't that much of a difference in prices. I would also say that these Amazon Go, Amazon Fresh stores are no threat at all to the bigger chains. To me, it's like how we have a village shop here in Barbados. You know, you, you go there because it's convenient, um, but not necessarily a place where you're going to do your everyday shopping. So these Amazon Go, Amazon Fresh stores still cannot replace the traditional supermarket experience, you know, picking up a trolley and walking through all of these aisles and so on. I mean, there are some stores now that Amazon is experimenting with where you do have a shopping cart and so on, but it's still not to the scale of the largest supermarket. So um, no threat at all to them. And finally, would I go back? Uh, I'm not sure. 
I went once and that was really to experience it, but I didn't go back. Would I go back again? I guess I could, but I don't really see a need to. There are other stores that, you know, have a wider selection of everyday items that I would want. Um, so I, I wouldn't see myself becoming a regular shopper there. Thank you so much for joining me on another episode of Journeys with Jay. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like, leave a comment, and if you haven't as yet, subscribe and definitely share this video with a friend. So thanks for watching. Until next time, keep safe. God bless. It's your boy saying Jigga out.